Hello, welcome to the garage. This is a quick video to show how to remove these aluminium sort of feet from a, uh, a glass table here. Now these um, are what you would screw the legs into here and they are actually glued on really hard to this glass. They're difficult to remove. Now there is a video uh, someone put up. Uh, one method of removing these is to use a heat gun and a pair of pliers to prise it off. Now, what if you don't have a heat gun? And um, the other thing is my ones are actually not sort of hollow like his one. Mine are actually like a solid chunk of aluminium. So I've come up with another method, a cheaper method. Now this is a bit janky. I recommend you come up with a, a safer method than this, but basically a tea light candle right underneath it here. And what you're trying to do is heat up the aluminium and consequently the glue. You're not trying to heat the glass up so much. So, it's starting to warm up already. I'm going to leave the candle there for about 10 to 15 minutes. And that should be enough just to soften the glue. And then what I'm going to do is pull this down and put it on the ground. And then use a blunt solid instrument to push down on the aluminium here. It's hard as uh, you know, certain, a nice amount of force, and it should pop right off. Um, here's the one I removed earlier with that method. You can see the sort of glue on there. There's not much um, residue left on the glass over there, um, but the little bit that is on there, what we'll do is uh, we'll come back at that with a little bit of, I don't know, acetone or something, and um, get that cleaned off. So, we'll come back here in a few minutes and see how we get on. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes now. This is really too hot to touch. You can actually see now that the glue has started to deteriorate. If you look at the other ones, you can't actually see that there's glue in there at all. You can see that the glass is grubby, but you can't see any evidence of glue there at all. But on this one, now we can. So I think that we're good to go here. Let's uh, set the camera up over there and have a go at this. Okay, I've got my tool here. I'm just going to use this end to push down on the aluminium. Let's see if we can get it to come off. <sighs> nope. So we're back to the candle. I'm going to give it even longer and see if it helps. Let's try. Let's try another 20 minutes then, since that was not going anywhere. 20 more minutes. Okay, it's had about 20 more minutes. Time for take two. There we go. It's off. Now that'll be extremely hot, so I'm not going to touch that for a little while. Pick that with a pair of pliers in a minute. So, just two more to go. Now this is really good if you um, want to repurpose this piece of glass. So, before it was a coffee table. Uh, in this case, it's going to become the top to a desk, and these are no longer needed. So, I'm going to get rid of these two and then we'll come back and uh, have a look at getting this little bit of glue residue off 30 minutes this time Okay, that's all four removed. So, this desk project, I bought this coffee table used online for £10. I've used one piece of glass, there are four metal legs and another thinner piece of glass at the bottom there. Um, but yep, yeah, £10 and I've only used half of it. I'm sure I can come up with a use for the rest. Uh, so, so far into this desk project, I'm in for 
10 pounds and one tea light candle. Okay, so our next job is gonna to be to tackle this sticky residue left over from the glue. And to do that, we're gonna be using some acetone. Now this is quite nasty stuff. You don't really wanna to get too much of it on your skin if it can be avoided. So feel free to use rubber gloves. And you need to be careful about what you use to apply the acetone. Don't be tempted to use something like a sponge because as grubby as your sponge may already be, this stuff is just gonna melt it and you'll have a bigger mess than you started with in the first place. So we're not gonna use that. I'm gonna use a tea towel to start off with. And depending on how hard this stuff is, we may call into action razor blade as well. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna get some of our acetone onto our rag here. And just rub it into the glue. And we're just gonna leave that on there to work in for a couple of minutes and then we'll come back at it and see how much of that we can wipe off. See how we got on here. I can already feel that's loosened up nicely. It's actually starting to rub off completely there. I think I'm going to come in at this with the, um, the razor blade. Oh yeah. That's what you want. Oh. Wash off with the acetone now. And polish it up with a little bit of blue roll. And that is your result. Three more to go. And we're done. Check that out, not a single trace of those legs are left. The glass is a bit grubby, but there's no point cleaning it yet. So that might seem like a lot of work just to remove four pieces of metal from an old, slightly scratched, used piece of glass. But if you were to go out and try and buy a big pane of tempered glass like this it would cost a lot more than the ten pounds I paid for the whole coffee table the next video will be based more around designing this and um, sort of building the desk around this piece of glass now I, I specifically wanted the top of the desk to be made of glass for a reason that will become apparent later but um, yeah next job is to start designing the actual desk